Hello friends, my name is Pritam Negi and I welcome you all to my channel. In this video of PTC Creo, we're going to be talking about a functionality. We may miss this thing sometime and this thing is very basic. We're going to be talking about how we can import IGS file with planes. Now this thing, a lot of people make mistake. They, they didn't recognize and realize that there is always option of importing IGS file with a particular template. With the help of this example, I will show you how to import IGS file with datum planes. This thing is applicable not only for IGS, but for all types of format, including step format and the format that are not native in Creo. For example, .stl, which is stereo lithography. Let's get started. Now I have already created a IGS file here. Okay, I think I need to go to desktop and here you can see tool base plate, import. This is the way I have seen many people doing and importing IGS file. Now the problem with this method is, okay, it's, it's pretty okay. Like we have a part, but you know, we don't have any view. First thing is that. And another thing is we don't have any datum plane. You can see here on model tree. Now the, the bigger challenge for us is when we create, let's say part drawing for this one. I'm going to choose empty with A4 format. Now here we, we are in drawing mode. Now let's go to general view, place the isometric view and let's place it in top, you know, top right corner. Let me just hide those construction geometry features. Now I want to place top view, front view, side view, but here we can see we do not have any option to place those views. Now when we create with the help of geometry reference by defining what is front and what is top and now we can create a projection view and a side view. But at the same time, why we need to do so much hard work? Why we cannot properly import our model? Proper importing will not only help you to uh, create proper view, but also help you to see your model by having all views, by having all the template and you will not create those data plane manually. Okay, so I'm going to discuss with you three methods of creating data plane with, with non-native models, which include IGS, STEP, STL, and many more. In this video, I will be discussing with you first method. In my next video, which is going to be successor of this one, you can check the method two of doing same thing. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to import the same model again. Let me just do erase no display and uh, again open desktop and here all file, same file, import. This time, instead of clicking OK, I will be clicking here use template. Now still, we are not finished yet. We need to click here, add detail. Now we can select which particular format that I want to use. For example, I want to make this part in inches, pound second, or maybe millimeter Newton second. I'm going to choose either millimeter Newton second or millimeter kg second. And uh, one can choose according to their, you know, I mean, their requirement now. Click OK, again OK. And now you can see on the right hand side in model tree, we have got our data templates. Also, we have got all views. Isn't it amazing? We have got all the views and it part, this part look like a native until and unless you want to check out like there is only one imported feature instead of several. Okay, now let's go to drawing mode, quick. 
Uh, let's choose A4 again and try to keep general view. Okay, then general view again. Now you can see we have all the view available and now again we can create these projection view very quickly and easily. This was method one and one of the easiest method of importing non-native geometry with datum plane. I hope guys I may able to make you understand like how you can import non-native data in Creo in a proper way. If yes, then consider like and subscribe to this channel and I will see you soon in my next video. Till then take care and bye bye.